Row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Up in the Morrow Mountain, my name is uh, Ranger Sean Higgins. I'm the education manager with North Carolina State Parks. And I'm really thankful you came out for our ceremonial boat launch. And I'm very thankful to the Friends of State Parks for purchasing these great toys and vehicles of wonder for North Carolina. We have nearly 30 dugout canoes that were made by Algonquian people with fire from Pettigrew State Park, sunken in Lake Phelps. The biggest one is 37 feet, the oldest 2,500 years. So we have nearly 3,000 years of big canoe culture in North Carolina. These boats came all the way from Canada and they're modeled after the fur trade birch bark canoes, big giant canoes in the 1600s uh, north and west of Lake Superior. And those canoes were modeled after the big giant canoes of the first peoples of Canada. The reason for these things more than anything is to get kids out on the water. We can fit an entire elementary school classroom out on boats like that. And there's really good research that kids having meaningful experiences like this means that they care more for the environment, they want to spend more time outdoors, they're more likely to go into careers in science and natural resources. So we want to get people out there having fun on the water. The best antidotes for kids spending too much time indoors and on video games are boats and bikes and fishing rods and tents. A couple of things about the names of these boats. The loggerhead, so that's named after our loggerhead turtle scientific name Coretta Coretta. And this time of year, the loggerhead turtles, the females, 350 pounds, are crawling out onto the beaches at Hammocks Beach in Fort Macon and Fort Fisher to lay 100 ping pong ball size eggs. So what better animal than the loggerhead sea turtle? So we have the loggerhead. And the other one is the hellbender. And that's named after the Eastern hellbender which is our largest salamander, the largest salamander in North Carolina, in North America, the third largest in the world. And interestingly, the Eastern Hellbender can grow up to 29 and a half inches. And these boats are 29 and a half feet. So I think that's, that's appropriate. So we have one sea turtle from the Atlantic coast. The Hellbender is only found in the Mississippi drainages. So we represent both drainages of North Carolina. We're gonna have this ceremony too to keep these boats safe. Safety is really key in everything we do. Uh, we hope that by coming on a guided safe canoe trip with us, people will take what they learn and go be safer on the water when they're not with us. Instead of the champagne toast, that's a tradition, we are gonna toast with cheer wine. Woo! And we're also going to christen the boats, not with the champagne, but we're gonna ladle the wonderful waters of the Yadkin River. Jeff and Ryan, would you like to ladle some water over our boats and say, I named thee. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Woohoo! Exuberate. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, and the loggerheads won. <laughs> gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream.